Mignani here for Astro Auctioneer's Great Texas Mopar Horde Auction event with item number 107. It's black, it's white, yup, it's a cop car. This is a 1978 Plymouth Fury, and again, the final year for the big block. Stacked headlights, great grill. We can see where it once had either a push bar or maybe some lights up front, but yes, indeed, it's a law enforcement car. Now, the doors are closed. I can't get them open, but fear not. By the time this car is sold, they will find a way to open the doors. But under the hood, according to the VIN, the uh, sixth spot or fifth spot, we have a P, which says it has the 400 high-performance big block. So we can assume it's still there. The nose still has an engine in it. So yes, a 400 cubic inch big block. Final year, 1978 for the big dog, big block cop car. Uh, the doors are locked, unfortunately, but we can see the remnants of what probably was Texas Highway Patrol stripes on the side. Here on the back, that little tiny device on the door lock is a device to prevent the lock from being tampered with by back seat uh, passengers, quote unquote. Uh, the rear quarter panels are nice on this one. On this side, anyhow, no rust apparent. Gotta love that. Break out the magnet and take a peek and see what's going on. And indeed, yeah, nice, black and white. Now the roof on this is not vinyl, that's white paint. And indeed, this is a special paint order car. Again, fleet stuff for the police department to utilize. Uh, the trunk is here, and here is the ugly truth. Now we see the car has been smacked. The tail is mangled. Uh, but however, down here, that huge single exhaust pipe, that's part of the catalytic converter equipped 400 high performance, high flow exhaust. So that's pretty cool stuff right there. But unfortunately, again, this car took a shot uh, in the trunk, and we can see where the trunk floor has buckled due to the impact. Otherwise, dusty, but unrusty. Going around to the passenger side, yeah, here is the scene of the crime, so to speak, where the metal has been deformed and displaced due to a rear-end collision. Uh, the door on this side does open, and there's the heavy-duty fleet bench seat in the back the heavy-duty bucket up, or bench up front with rubber floor mats all the way around. We can't see them, but those circular instruments almost certainly reveal a certified 120 mile per hour speedometer and probably full gauges for oil pressure and charging system function. Uh, can't prove that, but it's likely in a police package like this. Uh, the paint is faded, but again, we'll call this a Texas suntan. The magnet loves to stick to this stuff. And again, just uh, sand it, spray it, paint it, you're good. The front fender on this side is in wonderful condition. Very nice, no rust down low. And on the front, this is the 15 by seven inch six slot cop wheel with the vented hubcap. And again, the vents are here because the proving grounds showed that the baby cap would retain heat. So putting the holes in them allowed the heat to vent to help to reduce the brake fade factor. Uh, this, this does have uh, front heavy duty disc brakes, front and rear sway bars, a nine and a quarter inch rear axle. And uh, unfortunately, if this wasn't smacked in the tail, this would be a fantastic uh, drive around police car. Remember, police cars are four door muscle cars, but this one has been uh, hit in the tail. So unfortunately, it's probably just a parts car. But again, it's got a heavy duty tour flight, 400 cubic inch big block, a lot of good sheet metal up front. And what's it worth? You decide.